14 years old, and um, I have already studied from MIT, Stanford, Manchester University, and many other reputed universities, and of course, my school. I was fortunate enough that I had some of the very best teachers in the world. Also, I had the privilege of getting education with students from all around the world. Many of you might be wondering how. I did it all by sitting in my home and using my computer. It actually started when I was in grade four, and I was very sad when I found out that my brother was having a science club in his branch. While I was denied this club because of the reason told that in girls' branch, not many girls are entrusted in science club, and that for a club, they need to have almost 10 girls, so they can't have it. I felt confused and angry, and I wanted to tell them that if girls are not entrusted in science club, it is because they did not invoke their trust of science in girls. They didn't make science look attractive. Then later, another one happened. Our school was hosting a maths competition in both boys' branch and girls' branch. Me and my twin brother both decided to take it. But in his branch, he was given extra time and was being prepared by his teacher. Well, nothing this sort happened in, by, in my branch. And so when my mom protested, she wasn't given any satisfactory answer as to like why my brother's teacher is focusing on the math contest. Well, my teacher simply didn't do anything about it. We were in the same school, in the same class, only that he was in boys' branch and I was in girls' branch. It was another thing that I asked my brother to quietly hand over all the notes his teacher had given to him. This, this was the time when I decided to take matters into my own hands. I decided not to depend on the system. I refused to be part of the system that didn't allow me to fly on my own. I realized that I want to be responsible for my own choices in education. And I realized that I can't wait anymore to learn the things I want to learn. I can't actually wait for my O levels and A levels to learn these things. We don't need to be a prisoner in our education system which forces us to be in a standardized system. So I decided to find a way out of this. So I decided to take online courses as well as follow my studies in school. Online, where I can be the student and the teacher where I can help myself and I can help others as well, where I can enjoy my learning without the fear of being judged by my teacher. There is this freedom which actually helps a person to grow and flourish in education. So basically what I can say is that I don't study alone in some school of my country, Pakistan. In fact, I'm studying with students from all around the world. And my fellow students belong to a vast variety of backgrounds. They don't only differ in age, but they also differ in educational backgrounds. And together, we share a global community which is more sensitive, helping, and believes in the sharing of knowledge and ideas. After doing some courses on physics, I became interested in quantum physics. I was intrigued by it. One course caught my eye. It was an advanced undergraduate level introduction to quantum mechanics course on Coursera. Long names, <laughs> tells you how tough the course is. But nevertheless, I enrolled in it and I was surprised to find out that I couldn't understand a single thing what the course was about. You know, long complex calculations and the Professor was, for me, talking in an alien language. Looks alien, right? <laughs> but at that time, complex sounded so much fun to me. So what I decided was to look at the prerequisites of the course. And I found out that to do this course, I needed to know multivariable calculus. This was the first time I ever found out that there's something known as multivariable or calculus. And I was like, oh wow, I need to learn all this on my own. But the only question was how? How was I gonna be able to learn this on my own? But I searched online and found out that 
Before learning calculus, I needed to learn pre-calculus. Things were already looking quite complex for me. But I found a pre-calculus course on Coursera, and I took it. And straight after that, I took uh, a Calculus 1 course, and then a Calculus 2 course. I was so glad that things finally started to fall in line for me. And so straight after that, I took a Calculus single variable course, and then a Calculus multivariable course. I hope some of you may know about multivariable, right? Well, then later I also watched long, long MIT open course where videos by Herb Gross on multivariable. Obviously, thanks to my magical proxy. And so next time, when the same course of quantum mechanics came, I was all ready to take it. So long story cut short, I took it and passed it with an 80% at the age of 13. For me, this was a long journey of teaching myself five long calculus courses in under a year. So all in all, I have completed over 20 courses. And here are some of my certificates. These certificates, <laughs> these certificates may mean nothing to many people, but to me, they mean a lot because of the learning experience that is attached with it. I feel proud to know that I have learned all these subjects on my own using all these online courses. It is obviously a pity that our education system does not encourage lab activities. But what I strongly believe is that we should evolve in our education system. Labs should be introduced early in every Pakistani school. And students should be taught the importance of research. And it should be embedded in them at a very early age simply because you learn more when you do it. Experimentation is the best way an individual can learn after knowing the theory. We now need more scientists in our country. So after some time, after doing all these courses online, um, I was invited to Davos by Victor Pinchik Foundation to speak. And over there, I was really glad to see that there are so many people who actually share my views and who are passionate about using technology for education. Later, I was also invited to speak at GESF in Dubai. And I was also fortunate enough to speak at Yalta European Strategy. In all these forums, I was really glad to see that there are so many African representatives who are coming and representing the country and collaborating with different organizations in order to improve their education standards. I mean, if they are so willing and serious to embrace technology in, a, in order to improve themselves, then maybe we should try and learn from them and try to adapt to the new ways. So basically, what our generation needs to know now is about the fusion of education, the fusion of online learning with brick and mortar learning. None of these systems can deliver alone now in this age of technological revolution. Both these systems have to merge for the betterment. I strongly believe that students should take charge of their learning by using technology. You can blame the system of education when you are 10, but when you are 13 or more, you cannot blame anyone but yourself for not finding a way out of this. There is always a way to overcome these hurdles, and the age when you realize this may vary. Well, because I realized that kind of pretty early. You can always find someone or something who can help you follow your passion for education. Like, I have an online friend who helps me choose the right books of maths and physics. If we really want education, we can have it. And there are plenty of ways to get it now due to technology. In my world, students are empowered by the use of technology. And there is always a way to overcome these hurdles. So break down these boundaries, and this world is open for you. A world where education is accessible to all. Today, students can learn 
can search millions of books online, and they can find courses to complement those books. Now imagine you can watch MIT lectures on YouTube without even being there. People can learn music online. People can learn skills for their jobs. People can even learn using their smartphones. I want all students, be it a girl or a boy, to decide for themselves. Educate yourself, and you will find that niche where your education and skills are needed. It no longer depends on your education system or your school. Do not give yourself these excuses anymore. Rise above all these. If I can learn complex math and quantum physics online, you can learn absolutely anything. There is no obstacle which you cannot overcome. So don't wait. Do it yourself. There is a teacher in every one of us. Find that teacher in you who is hiding inside of you, who can teach you like no other teacher can. And that is how you educate yourself.